Welcome to yet another session of CapEdge Solutions. I'm your coach, Kavaljit. The purpose of this small interaction is just to understand what exactly is the Certified Internal Audit Qualification, what we call CIA in short. There are a lot of candidates who keep asking us the similar question as to what is CIA, what is the eligibility criteria to go ahead, and also what are the career prospects when you become a CIA. So the purpose of this small interaction is to discuss what CIA is all about, what exactly is the skill set required in a candidate, what is the eligibility criteria, what is the job opportunities, what is the average salary, and how to go about this certification. So that is the agenda of this small interaction where we shall be discussing some basic concepts related to CIA. So let's understand what CIA is all about. The full form of this certification is called Certified Internal Auditor. It's a US-based certification, however, a very, very globally recognized certification. When you think about internal audit as a career, CIA is the qualification to look at. It is not only recognized in USA, but across the world. So if you talk about banking, you talk about Big Four or any other company, which might be very interested in taking CIA candidates. Certain skill sets before you think about audit as a career. Audit is a very, very fascinating field. It also requires a lot of skill set, imagination and persuasive skills. So a small a test for you just to check whether you have those skill sets or not. In order to become a very successful auditor, First thing what we need to understand is active listening skills. Our audit is all about listening, observing the things and people around us. So one that we need to be very, very patient in listening and it has to be active listening skills. So that is one of the very important skill which you require if you become an auditor. The second is persuasion. Since we know the task of an auditor is to get the information. So in order to get that information, you have to be really, really persuasive. Persuasive does not mean being pushy. You need to get the information, however, with your persuasive skills. Soft skill is another element which is very important element for an auditor. The most of our task is about how we talk to people. The way you talk to people, the way you observe them, the way, the way you get the information from these guys. And that's exactly where a soft skill comes into picture. So a person who is a social person, a person who is people person, would be very, very successful in this profession called audit. And last but really not the least is presence of mind. There could be a lot of scenarios in your career as an auditor where you have to really decide on the spot. So the active presence of mind is definitely a very, very important element for an auditor. So if we say, what are the basic skill sets are required? A one, somebody who's good at soft skills, a, a good listener, somebody who has a good persuasion, and also somebody who is very actively presented at the scenario could be some of the skill set which are required for an auditor. So since we know that these are the skill set required. It is important that you do a, a, a real cross check as to do you possess these kind of qualifications. Uh... So it's important for us to check whether we have those skill sets or not. If you can acquire those skill set, you can still get into this profession called audit. So audit is nothing but investigating the facts. Audit is something just all about using your knowledge, experience, skill set, and of course, how you learn over the job. So audit per se does definitely require your knowledge and skill set. However, it is more about how you apply the concept. So these are some small uh, things which are definitely required for you uh, being a successful auditor. Now, what exactly is CIA? CIA is a globally recognized certification. 
whenever you really want to get into the field called internal audit cia is the qualification so there are two type of audits external audit and internal audit if you talk about external audit you have to be really accountant for that so in indian context if we say it has it's to be chartered accountant if you talk about say usa you have to be cpa and so on so in order to become an external auditor you have to be an accountant however in order to become internal auditor you can always become cia and you can start your career in the field of internal audit the governing body for this particular certification is called the iia and the iia is based out of us the purpose of this certification is to give you required skill set and knowledge so that you can be a good internal auditor and also the iif follows a uh, international auditing standard so when you study cia you will be studying all international standards on audit so even though it is a us based certification it doesn't require you to have knowledge of exactly a country specific auditing standards or accounting standards it emphasizes on global auditing standards so that's always a plus point of the certification you can do cia and you can practice in any part of the world so it's not a country specific certification per se now if you talk about what makes you a cia as to what are the eligibility criteria so eligibility criteria is pretty simple you need to have post secondary degree it could be 3 to 4 years if you talk about indian context it could be a graduation or above or if you talk about any other country it could be any qualification 3 to 4 year of qualification post your secondary other than that this you need to have work experience however the iia gives some kind of flexibility to do those people who do not meet the education criteria as we discussed anybody who has a 7 year or more experience specifically in the field of audit might be exempted from this particular requirement of post secondary plus 3 to 4 year of experience uh, degree so that's exactly where the iia has uh, option to uh, waive off that particular criteria for that candidates can speak to the iia separately but you have to have minimum 7 year of audit experience before you think about it so otherwise if you meet the number one criteria in terms of your education then there is a work experience criteria as well if you have got masters or above or something equivalent to masters you need to have 12 month of auditing experience if you are a bachelor or equivalent you need 24 month of relevant experience which has to be in the field of audit also if you have associate degree a level certificate or equivalent in that case you need 60 month of work experience so that is the eligibility criteria for cia exam in terms of education and in terms of work experience now let's talk about the exam fee when we think about a qualification we do think about the expenses involved how much investment it does require which is absolutely a practical point to understand so this is the uh, screen which shows the fees uh, which is uh, for 2017 18 might be changing time to time so when we say member member is the category of those who has already taken membership with diia non member are those who have not taken the membership yet and of course there is a third category called students for students you have to show your relevant uh, educational proof that you are still a student and the fees might vary from member non member to student so that's about the fees which is there right on the screen you can have a look at it that is part wise exam so of course cia has three part exam part 1 part 2 and part 3 and if you talk about as to how much time does it require i would say it may vary person to person however on an average it might take about 6 months time to finish all three part on an average candidates take 1 1 and 1/2 month for part 1 and 2 each 
part 3 is most detailed might take little more time so seems like six months should be good enough time for a person who is a working person who might study only on weekend to complete all three part so that's the fee for all three parts a very important question what is the career path of auditor anybody who's not into audit field might be interested into this field would like to know first as to how much is the salary one can expect and also what is the career path so career path for auditor could vary in terms of names and hierarchies from company to company however generally when we start we start as a junior auditor then you might become a senior auditor and then audit manager if you are working in a in a ca firm or an audit firm or a big four kind of scenario you might go to up in the hierarchy at partner level also so audit is a very very uh, rewarding field in terms of remuneration in terms of uh, growth in career because audit is neat most of the time companies have to get their audits done and that's where the demand for audit professionals is also very high and i don't see any reason that demand for audit professional will go down in future either so that's exactly where uh, it is not like a share where you don't know when to buy and when to sell so basically audit is a field which is safe to enter at any point of time so even if you think about the audit profession today you aren't too late so that is the career path of an auditor this is the salary which is absolutely basis the surveys done globally and that statistics again is for 17 18 it might vary from country to country might vary from company to company but that's exactly is the brief summary of how much salary can you expect per annum so that's how about the salaries which you can see seems pretty rewarding to me isn't it once we have understood what is cia how it can help us in career what is the eligibility criteria the another question which comes to us mind is how will we prepare for the exam there are a lot of ways to study there are a lot of online options available face to face classes available here uh, since i am representing capage so i would like to tell you as to how capage can support in cia exam preparation so basically cia uh, uh, preparation by capage is completely virtual mode we want to help all those students worldwide so we really did not want our uh, study packages to be country specific and so on that's why our complete virtual model is available so we offer the video lectures which covers every single topic which is there in the book we provide the chapter wise practice questions we provide chapter wise study notes which is summary of the chapter and also we do highlight as to what points seems to be having more weightage in examination and then we also provide the mock exams our access for this subscription is valid for 365 days per part per section which is good enough time for a candidate to study and pass it before we sign off for this we need to understand a couple of things about cia certification and the examination some of you might already be experienced auditor however when you appear for cia exam please remember one point this exam test lot of skill and knowledge try not to club your practical experience with what you studied during the examination of course when you work practically you you use both your practical experience and knowledge but why giving the exam stick to what you have studied we have seen lot of candidates not able to crack the exam do exams are not difficult it's an multiple choice question and you can give the exam per section wise so you don't need to appear all three sections together it's a multiple choice exam on demand exam whenever you are ready you can opt for it however still a lot of students are not able to crack these days and i can pinpoint why this is happening the main reason students are not able to crack the exam these days they try to club two things together during the exam which is the practical experience and what they studied so my suggestion is stick to what we study 
whenever you give a multiple choice exam do not ever over analyze the situation whenever you give an objective type paper stick to your gut feeling whatever you understood stick to it do not over analyze and that could be one of the reason that some students are not able to crack this exam now otherwise difficulty wise the exams are not very difficult provided you have a good conceptual clarity and you analyze the situation nicely that's it so that's all about this small session where we try to cover as to what exactly is cie certification how we going to go about it this is uh, the contact detail of uh, my company if you really want to get in touch with us for any query concerns study support or anything that's exactly where you can meet us so that's all about from my end for this cie i'll see you soon with more videos about cie thank you so much see you soon